and we're back. You may have noticed that um, near the end there um, that my webcam did crash. Um, yeah, I got a hyper potion, um, and daily I got t the TM for charge beam, which if you're using a Jolteon unlike me, um, that would actually be quite good. Now, um, at this bit, I always, I always imagine that, that kind of mean thing, just like that guy, well, one guy going, Stay on target, stay on target, there's the other guy going, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. I always imagine the you trainer, as, uh, you, you as uh, the guy that's going, stay on target, stay on target, and Lapis as well is just going, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. Yeah. Alright, uh, this is why I have high out at front. He's high, he's two levels higher. And with uh, Z Peck. So. Oh. Uh, that might hurt. Okay, that hurt quite a bit. And there was my attack. Oh dear. Well, it's a special attack. I think I read it as attack. Could be a special attack. That's for using super size guys. So I just look stupid. We're bound! Um, yeah, we're pretty much bound here. Like, there's no getting out of it if a supersonic sky strike from Dartrix can't take uh, the sky out, then I don't know what can. Also, why would you use Stunspot? Um, heck, masquerade, I guess. So it doesn't paralyze my entire team, which is mildly annoying. Bubbles, fucking bubbles! Oh my god, fucking bubbles! Jesus Christ! Um,. Polywag? I think this might actually be the end of this. Because nothing I have can just... I'm on the level. No, I'm not even on the level. Most of my Pokemon are like ever level 18 to 20. And that's only level... well, 18 to 22. And that's... Ah, crap! Why do the bubbles do so much? Hey, what what totem boost do you get? Speed! So, no defensive boost, no offensive boost, just speed. Um, where, yeah, this is it. I'm trying hypnosis, but you avoided. I probably wax dead. Give me a second.
Right, so I guess... I guess I could, um... Curse. And try and survive. Curse wish. Oh, I know he has bubbles. And that's easy though. Um I guess high's up up next on the chopping block. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, that's pretty much the end. GG. I have nothing. I mean, I used my most powerful move on on it. And it didn't die for my most powerful move on my most powerful Pokemon. And you seem to die. I don't even think it went into the orange from the supersonic sky strike. Oh yeah, that did nothing. Five H oh, and of course I'm paralyzed! Cause the game just wanted to kick me in the crotch that little bit harder. Right. And if you know Paralyze got nerfed in the sun and moon, I mean, meaning your, your speed is still lowered the same amount, but um, you have a higher chance of, you know, attacking. So now, whenever you don't attack, that's just a bigger, that's just now a kick in the crotch. But now, paralyzing me when the only thing I can, when I was pretty much my only option to survive, is even is an even bigger kick in the crotch. Yeah, no, I use Tailwind. Well, that's the end of this series. Um, I'm saying that because really I don't have anything in the PC that could, you know, stand up to Araquanid just period. Like, I should have really gone in Jolteon and just tore it charge beam and got a few charge beams on it and try and survive like that. I mean, I do have that one Lillipop that if I get... Ex I'm going to trade that and just so nobody will complain down in the comment section. Oh, well you could continue, maybe you might have gotten something really good for the Lillipop. So, um, if I get something amazing for the Lillipop that could potentially stand up to a Wakanid then, you know, I'll continue on the series, so I'll have to go grind between now and the next episode. But honestly, I don't, f I don't think I'm going to get anything from the Wonder Trade. I'll um, reasonably stand up to a Wacken Egg. Right, Mm. Oh, 
I forgot to, I forgot to cross out to Oli Korea. Trade, on the trade, start. Little pop. Do 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 I got Magnemite, yeah, uh, GG. G to the G. GG, guys. Well, that's the end of the series. And I know people are going to say, but Magnemite can stand up to a rock, and it is just like. Yeah, but it's just going to be a level 1 Magnemite that I really don't want to train up. And actually, I have actually been thinking about replaying um, this game and catching the Magnemite um, early on in it, too, because I do love Magnazone. Well, it, uh, it on its own isn't going to be able to stand up against a Rackmanid and survive. And if it's level 1, then I won't even be able to train it up. Yeah, it's level 1, right. So, yeah, level 1. Tackle Supersonic. Ha oh, Modest is actually quite... It's got good nature. Um, this is a breed jet by the look of it. Max special attack. And decent defenses and speed. And horrible attack. Well, not in the 90s, that's probably... Decent IVs, but because of the smart attack. Anyway, the problem is that I can just take this into the wild and take it to battle something because everything will over level it and everything will just knock it out. And it's not like I could switch it out for anything else because they're also level 1. So I can't train anything up and I can't use anybody in this team because they're all whip and kill now. I mean, I'll show you. I'll, I'll take this team. I'll go back to Akala Island. I'm telling you, they're just going to get one shot by everything. Well, probably not one shot. Our Magnemite will probably be able to survive something, especially if it has sturdy. And now I'm going to have to walk all the way back to Akala Island. And hope I don't get into any random battles I missed on the way here. Oh, well. GG. GG, guys. This guy's going to sweep for me, and that's going to be the end of the series. And that's a Sable Eye. Just Supersonic could. Yeah, they just avoided. Yeah. Supersonic. Now knock yourself out. Please. Nope. 
That's Magnum right dead. And there goes the last hope of beating the Rock Crinid. I just realized I have a mirror which is in the Izuma rail line. And I also had. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know, I, I can't even Um. Yeah, I don't know, I can't even go. Um. You can't do anything to this. And you could lower the defense. Um, he just. Yeah, and the nerf to confusion everybody. Dead. Um Aquajet. Or you could use the uh, tech and just store this out even more. Yeah, no, that did nothing. Well, that's the end of the series, guys. Um, I have got something planned for the next one. Um, that said, I'll be taking over um, this series' place on the timetable. Um, but yeah. Um, if you're excited for the next Pokemon series, uh, which will be announced uh, in a week's time, leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that. You know that. You know the drill. Um, and that's the end of the series. Bye bye. Hello and welcome back to another episode of um, Ultra Moon Wonder Lock. I almost said free to play Friday, but it's not that. Oh, but somehow the camera decided to move itself. Um, well, there's a good series if you want to go watch it. Um, I do it every Friday. Yeah, basically, I just show a free to play game. Anyway, um, last time we um, caught a Pokemon and we won the trade, and we got this monkey that was in the Beast Ball. It's actually quite good. It's Jolly Anger Point. So, um, uh, it might actually become a um, viable member of the team when somebody dies, inevitably. Um, there we are. Uh, and if you didn't, um, if you haven't seen a couple of videos ago, um, for some reason that camera is always laggy. Like if I just wave my hand in front of it, you can see, yeah, I just freeze from time to time. Um, that's the most obvious I can make it. Um, so I've had to, and I used to record gameplay with that one, so I've had to switch the cameras around. And that took that there that you see right there. Uh, I, Point like that way, yeah, that way. That you see down there, um, that is where I used to record my face with, um, and it's using, um, as you can see, um, just like right down there, ish. Um, it's using a thing called ManyCam, um, because for some reason OBS doesn't want to use can't or doesn't want to record with two cameras at the same time. So I had to use a window capture for many camera and for some reason window capture doesn't want to work either apart from selective things so um, you know, it can be a bit annoying um, so I don't I'll see if I can switch them around so I'm recording um, that with many cam and this with the thing but first I want but I would use but first I want to see if I can put that into full many cam into full screen and if I can then I won't bother um, but right now I can't because it'll just crash, but there is a, a, an update available for it So I'll probably update it and see if that will stop it from crashing. Hopefully it will Anyway, let's continue on. Also, um If my move is a bit janky, I've um, sort of like torn out the, that bit of um, Skin at the end of your thumbnail And then if you pull it out it bleeds. I can't remember what it's called, but anyway my thumb's just a bit sore today because I was doing my nails earlier basically uh, not yet, I'm going to save that now. 
Oh, you've got to be uh, a trial girl, right? Well, you've got a, a good uh, sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. I do like Milk Tank. It, it is one of my more favourite Gen 2 Pokemon. I'm probably going to have to make a top 10 favorite po my top 10 favourite Pokemon of each generation at some point. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Mill look uh, from uh, Paniola Ranch is uh, the best. Uh, it's so rich and creamy when you use it uh, in uh, Wyatt uh, sauce and other things. Mmm, the taste can uh, to even uh, be described. Oh, by the way, uh, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do uh, you a little favour. <coughs> Ew. Stalin was registered to your uh, page rider. Rider page thing. <laughs> ah! See, Stalin and they can uh, sniff out items for you uh, that are uh, buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. Then you're riding, when you're riding Stalin, press B to use Stalin search, that's what it's all about. Get up there and try this, okay. and the Stalin will bark louder and louder the closer it gets to something buried in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out to Brooklet Hill. My friend Dalana is up there, so say hi to her for me if you see her. Right, I want to have a little quick rant about this quickly. This is Stoutland. You know, it's all like, you know, just running around, average speed. But to try and find anything, you have to move at this slow space. Now, the reason why this is such a problem for me, um, oh god, repel, that's nice, um, is that that is uh, slower. There's uh, that speed. And this is actually just walking speed, it's about the same speed as walking speed pretty much. If not a little bit slower. Um, where in past generations, um, you had um, items where uh, you, uh, like the Dowser machine, where you put it on your head and you could just, I think you could even ride on your, no I don't think you could ride on your bike next to while using that, but you basically could run around while using that. So it just made uh, the fight finding items easier and a bit faster, but this, well, uh, you know, if you could, if he could, like, if Stalin had, uh, could uh, notice items that are buried in the ground, even if it's, like, only at a closer range, like, say, um, this, the, the milk tank in this item, um, say it wouldn't notice it here, but it would notice it, say, here, but when you're on Stalin and you're pressing B, it would notice it from this far away. You know, just make it so that it'll notice items from further away if you, pr if you do like this. But you could still find items uh, just as easily, well not just as easily, but um, a bit faster that way. And then you could, uh, you know, really just uh, choose, you know, would you rather go fast or would you rather um, find items more easily. But, you know, right now the choice is either you do, either you ride Tauros, which is faster, and they can smash through uh, boulders, or you ride uh, the Stoutland where you have to go uh, as slow as walking speed, uh, which is painful for most pl people playing Pokemon, um, just to maybe find an item. Oh crap, I need to catch this before I forget, um, because it um, is the first encounter for this route, so yeah. Speed fell, attack rose. Defense rose, so let's just do a quick attack. See how much damage that does. Baby doll eyes! Ah, oh, that's annoying. Attack fell, so I've only got defense up then. Oh, actually, that might have helped me because. That, well, actually, no, I, that would just mean I didn't have to do, use two quick, stack, quick attacks since I would have had, only had to use one quick stack, attack instead of two. Don't call for help, thank you! 
Uh, let use my last Pokeball. So why not? It's only a little up. I doubt it'll uh, be that hard to catch. One, two, three. Yep! I was right. Wasn't too hard to catch. I data added to the Pokédex, 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 I forgot to read this Poké... Oh crap! I pressed the wrong one. That wasn't really a crap or anything, but whatever. Into the PC you go and we'll wonder trade you later. Chill, Proton. Oh, you're a battler. Train Pokemon trainer thing guy. Person. Hmm. No, 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 no. Breather! Oh! Right. I'm gonna say something here. Um, this is something most people probably won't know unless you uh, watched one of, my, so one of my earliest videos. In fact, my first video, um, my uh, Sans uh, pixel art uh, animation. Um, oh, right. slow down. Um, that my real name is Isaac. Or if you've you know like seen, uh, or if you've been following my uh, um, YouTube channel for quite a while, also I should have. Anyway. Um, and in Auras, which I don't know if I pointed this out when I was doing my Alpha Sapphire Wonderlock, um, but if you go to the village um, where uh, um, Wally's uncle lives at, um, on the way there, there will be a uh, Pokemon breeder, Isaac. Which I just thought, yeah, well, a coincidence. I'm a, I'm officially in the game. It makes sense because I'm a, I actually do legit breathing. I don't hack like some people. One kick, two kicks. Not very effective. Water gun. Uh, a cool tactic I've seen used with Mudbray in doubles and Mudstail is beat up on it to, to activate its stamina, giving it uh, basically plus 6 defense on the first turn. It's a bit like um, what they did, uh, what they did, what you do with Terrakion with the Justified ability. This still uh, raises attack and raise defense. <laughs> also, every other like Mudbray is actually um, viable competitively. And you woke up and you used double kick. One, two, really effective, hit two times, used water gun, and down goes Mudbray. Be back in a minute. Okay, I want to see. I want you to see this quickly. Literally, the last bit of grass. Yeah, I just want to skip over that bit of grass. Moo! Yay! All oh, my Pokemon are healed. Uh, this is where you breed Pokemon. Wait. Is a definite. Which one do you want? Fire, thunder, or water stone? Ooh. Right, so I was thinking about evolving it into an Espeon or an Umbreon. But, hmm. 
Jolteon. I haven't used Jolteon in a while. Ooh. But it does have stored power, which would be nice on a Calm Mind Espeon. Now, I'm going to stick with my... Um, oh, I'm just going to take the Thunderstone then. I'm just going to stick with my plan of um, evolving it into an Espeon. for them. Probably gonna get a bit of flag for that, but I really don't care for them. Like if they had uh, gone missing uh, from Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon that period, or apart from my dear friend Max uh, being a big fan of them and he'd probably complain a, complain a lot about it, I really would not have noticed. Apart from the fact that there wasn't an annoying tutorial about it that you can't skip. Fight, Ember, Cottony, Fight, um, actually I'm going to switch you out, Pokemon, I'm going to switch you out for Ori Korea. So Ori Korea is just grass, I don't like it who is weak to grass. Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. Peck Petalel. You use growth and you use Peck. And double. Wop wop. I do like Cottony. I did use it in my uh, black and white 2 playthroughs that I actually managed to get around to replaying them. And I will definitely say they were black and uh, better than black and white quite a bit. Which, Black and White are the two games I've never actually finished playing. Admittedly, because I just got so sick of the stupidity. Like, they, they, they do do some genuinely clever things in Black and White. Like, having um, N's team composed of, like, Pokemon he's caught in the area. Which is quite clever, considering um, N's whole deal. Um, you have a fairy free attack and fairy free special attack, so I go in your mix attacker, I'll get rid of old Odor Sleuth, I guess, and then if we come up against a more um, special wall and grass type, I guess we'll use that or something. Or maybe just for the extra PP. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, I lost again. Are you even taking this seriously? I am so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it. You can enjoy Pokemon battling uh, when you put everything you have into it, uh, which uh, clearly you haven't. When you haven't, I don't know. Whoa, hey gaming. This guy is uh, plenty uh, scary. Plenty, 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 plenty scary. You're gaming. Yeah, that's me. Hmm. <laughs> Not very curious. Even uh, some Pokemon have a better sense of uh, self-preservation than you apparently do. I'm Gladian. Me, it's me and my partner Typenol are training to get stronger. We have to get stronger. Though most of our team are these days. Time these days, right? Go is to working for Team Skull and their muscle as their muscles. Muscle. Battle me, I won't take no for an answer. Oh, I'm over the camera. Yeah. 
Anyway, Zubat. How do you get to be muscle for uh, Team Skull when your lead is a Zubat? A Zubat! I mean, if this was be, if this had the uh, leech fight, oh, you're Zora. Yeah, you're Zora. Your lead is a Zora, which is uh, a bit better. There you go. Oh, now you're sending in the zoo bat. Hmm. Oh, look, I'm looking for. And Ember. I know you're sending in Type Null, so I'm going to switch out because you're, you're low on HP. Um. No physical attacker, so EV using Curse would be, um beneficial to put just wall you out. <coughs> ah jeez. Fight, curse. Back all. Curse. Use tackle again. Use curse again. Bag. Super potion. And now I'm going to use regular potion. Because I don't think you can do that much damage unless you get a critical hit. Yeah, so you did 9 damage. Nine damage again. I think that was even less. But yeah, that was even less than nine damage because I got another curse up. Yeah, so now we're just going to go for another potion. That did four, five, six damage. That did less than I expected. Stored power. Look at special defense is worse than its defense. Yeah, that did a bit better. I'm just going to use a super potion to get you back to full HP. Instead of using potions every five turns, not two turns. That did six damage. Stored power. And one last stored power. There we go. And Eevee leveled up. Hmm. It's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to key up a fighting stronger opponents, looks like I'm still not ready. What? That kid there, his uh, Pokemon aren't we, uh, and sure it's uh, fine to enjoy battling, 
but this brat he's uh, just uh, using that as an excuse to not to excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the kahuna because he can't uh, beat Halo when he is so uh, serious you know my gramps wait he, so you think I'm strong oh look at you little gladian aren't you just uh, a really cool guy <laughs> I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid uh, would turn out with a spineless too, huh? No worries, we've got enough backbone to cover for you. Just give it up already. Mm. You know you can't beat me, uh, you'll just get your Pokemon here for no reason. They're good Pokemon. We came all of this way and for what? Uh, for a big fat waste of our time, thanks to you. If uh, you hadn't uh, gotten our way, we could have uh, stolen uh, the Totem Pokemon from Booklet Hill. Let's get uh, out of here. Look, uh, the uh, Mirkrow are crying and it's time we should be flying. Listen up, uh, good uh, Gladian. Uh, the boss uh, does uh, like you, that's true. But you've uh, just, uh, but you're just uh, some hired help we keep around uh, for when we need you. You aren't a part of Team School, not really, and you never will be. Got it? You better get it. Thanks gaming and the uh, Growlithe too. You both uh, gave it your... I should have gotten the Firestone for Growlithe! God damn it! Stupid. Mm. Anyway. Phew, looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm uh, going to take on the trial uh, at Brooklyn Hill next. Here gaming, take me uh, so with you. We're going to be here to this island challenge. Now they must have another revives. That I can't use, yay. Well, it looks like they're going to be sold for some money. Mm-hmm. Let's just sort out my team quickly. Make sure. Uh, growl if I need healing. So, I need to do that before I battle these two. I have six of these, so I'm just going to spam them on the other. I'll just, um, I guess I'll keep this battle in. Because it is a Nuzlocke and it's not like it's just a normal Let's Play. I'll just call wi wild Pokemon out. So they don't usually pose a threat. Bite. Uh, Flame Mule. Bullaby. Bite. Confusion, well, with it. Wow, that did not do much. Block and home calls. Attack and accuracy rose. Oh dear. We may be in a bit of trouble. Yep. Wing attack. Okay, it's time to switch uh, slow poke out. Send in Poliwag. The waggiest of Polly's. Look. And 
Lantern Claws. Okay, so you're going to sleep this turn. Right. <coughs> uh -huh. Under you. Yeah. And you don't really have any moves. Any moves. Hypnosis! Yeah, you hit! Sleep. Fast asleep. Playing the old. Reflect. Fight. Water gone. Bullaby. Oh yeah, critical hit. Getting quite a few crits today. I got two in the Gladian battle and one here. Blah. Yeah, down goes. Level 18. Level 20. And uh, thingy's level 19. And disable. Let's slip it. Um, uh, I guess we can get curse, maybe. Because curse isn't really that useful, because uh, Slowpoke is not a physical attacker. Not in the slightest. And Roto Lotto. We get Roto Friendship. Yeah, actually. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I was um, just looking up at what level EV Lane's Baton Pass. Um, because what I want to do is I want to get Carmine on my Espeon. Then use Carmine stored power, and it, uh, then uh, baton pass if I uh, need to. Mm -mm -mm. Well, yeah, that's if we get it that far. But if it, I think I'm gonna do it if I if I get a game out if I you know wipe out well. I wipe out that's game over and I, you know, that's the end of the series. Because I don't think, with the Pokemon in my PC, I could really, you know, make a comeback with two level 1s and a level 5. Uh, well, that's not even a level 1 I'm going to make a new, so... Unless I get something amazingly good or at least decent here from this next one to trade, I don't really think, you know... Oh, yeah, well, I, I can catch one more Pokemon and then I can win the trade. I can't wonder right now, but I'm gonna catch one more Pokemon before I do. Oh, a net ball. Oh, nice. Hello, I'm Melana. <coughs> I serve as the captain of Booklet Hill. So a trial goer, will you be at, uh, be attempting my trial? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Then I'll explain the trial to you. My particular trial is I want you to hear daily Pokemon found in the pools to book a tail, driving them downstream to draw out the totem Pokemon. If I may to be so blunt, they are wishy-washy. It's uh, wishy-washy wishy I want you to hear. Well, I won't expect you uh, to uh, swim through all the pools yourself. I have a lovely gift to help you. 
Lapis was registered to your rider page. Uh, anyway, so if you're ready, please move. Blah blah blah. Yeah. Uh, Right, we can catch a Pokemon here. Run! I don't even have repel on! What is this? Have they made it so you can encounter Pokemon here before you finish the trial? Or something? What? What's going on? That's odd. Well, I want to catch something before the trial. But it looks like I'm not going to get to. So you made it. Ah, I'm sorry, what was your name? Oh, of course, gaming is a lovely name, just lovely. Now then, do you see those two splashes over there? One there, one there. I'm thinking that at least one of them might to contain a wishy-washy. In fact, it's likely both might. Don't you agree? Would you try to drive them down the stream with a little help from that press? Right, before I do do that, I'm gonna wanna switch Growlithe all of the way to the back. Because it's gonna be a lot of water Pokemon. What type of Pokemon here? Mm. Actually, I have a better idea. And then switch high into the front. And then just turn one nu nuke everything. So, um, I'm going to speed this build because you've all seen this before. I'll see you guys in a minute. Bye bye.